We begin with a story that makes no sense. It's caused so much pain. Police in San Bernardino say a man intentionally rams his truck into a woman and her fruit cart. Well, she is the mother of four, and tonight she is in critical condition. KCALINE's Nicole Comstock shows us the video as it happened. Well, this mother already survived emergency surgery to repair trauma to her stomach, but now doctors are focused on relieving the swelling to her brain. Her family tells us it's clear from the video that you're about to watch that the suspect meant to run her over. Marlene Benitez shouldn't be in this hospital bed in critical condition at Loma Linda University Medical Center. The wife and mother of four young children should be at home with her family. But Tuesday, the driver of this SUV slowed down in front of her little fruit stand, then stepped on the gas and intentionally ran her over, police say, in this parking lot in San Bernardino. Ella, eh, en la mañana, se... Marlene's brother-in-law says she wakes up at 5 every morning and helps her kids with school because of the pandemic, then goes to work under this umbrella in the sun to keep a roof over their heads. They're praying that she pulls through for them and that this driver's actions are not dismissed as an accident. 42-year-old Robert Spargo of San Bernardino was arrested at a nearby gas station. Police were seen taking aerosol cans out of his car and believe he may have been huffing. Jail records indicate he has since been charged with attempted murder. Del que la Alejandro says Marlene's family thinks this was a racially motivated attack because another street vendor was recently assaulted in San Bernardino. They think the video paints the full picture, but so far police have not commented on whether or not they're investigating this as a possible hate crime. Alejandro says Marlene's family wants Spargo to tell them why he ran down this hardworking mother. In the meantime, they're patiently waiting by her bedside. And if you'd like to help Marlene's family out while she's in the hospital, head to our website, kcal9.com. I'm Nicole Comstock, KCAL9 News.